Hey guys, Archie Luxury on the Archie Luxury channel. Today guys, I want to talk to you about the premium for newer Rolex watches. Now, I got to tell you what's happened recently is the newer watches, I'm talking 2020, 2021, maybe 2019, they are going to be pulling a premium over older watches. Quick, quick, quick. Whist watch check. I'm wearing a Rolex Submarina. A Submarina. It's a subby, guys. This is one of my my favorite watches. The Rolex Submarina. That's right, guys. Now, let's let's talk about this. So, in Australia, generally speaking, if the piece is one year old. Current year, like 2021, it can command a premium up to 15%. That's right, 15%. And th this also applies to um, it applies to current model <clears throat> pieces, which you know the um, Explorer Twos are a classic case. They've been available. Uh, they have been available as um they've been out for a while in the 42 mil you can pay 15 percent premium for a a year old piece now generally speaking if it has the new warranty card that's the newer one which doesn't say uh doesn't have the dealer stamp on it they generally speaking would be five to eight hundred Aussie dollars. What's that? That's about uh, four hundred to seven hundred US more than the older type. So, absolutely lunacy there. A 2021 as opposed to a 2020 piece can command a premium of. Five hundred dollars to a thousand dollars more. So, people who are buying these watches, they're prepared to pay more for a if you if it's a twenty twenty one. We're in twenty twenty one. They'll pay more for that that year, and this this can be up to a five hundred to a thousand dollars. It's crazy, and it's this is. Obviously, you know, by getting a newer year, you've got the warranties longer. You've generally got the condition tends to be better. So there's a couple of factors which do play into that. But it's really quite crazy. It's, it's, it's really quite, it's, it's lunacy. It's lunacy what is going on, guys. It is lunacy. And it's. It's just people really want the latest. They want what they can't have. Brand new. Brand new. And this, I've never really seen this in the market before because the secondary market, once it was second hand, that was kind of, yeah, okay. But it's because you can't walk into the AD and get a Submariner. It's very, very difficult to get a Submariner. <clears throat> it's very, very difficult to get any of the steel sports watches. Um, <clears throat> in Australia itself, I've got to tell you, supply is incredibly hard. Somewhere like America, <clears throat> I would say, in my opinion, I mean, the grass is always greener on the other side of the fence, but America, you would think, a country like that, 250 plus million population, <clears throat> They'd have a lot more stock going to that country, whereas Australia, 25 million population, uh, we just have a sprinkling of customers. So, you know, the Americans, they always assume, hey, you Aussies, can you get Rolex? No, 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 impossible to get, impossible. So it, it is a very fascinating thing. The secondary market itself there is really, really, really Paying a premium for current year pieces, pieces with the new... I mean, would you pay 
would you pay several hundred dollars more for the newer card as opposed to the older warranty card? I mean, it's as long as it's got papers, I'd be happy. It doesn't really matter. And this is how superficial the market is getting. Um, generally speaking, papers weren't a big, it wasn't a big disaster not to have papers. Now, papers, everybody wants papers. Papers, papers, papers. Um, interestingly enough, on things like paddock and that there, it can have a detrimental effect of up to 10%. 10 to 15% now, that's right. 10 to 15 percent for having uh and that paddock does have that service you can get an e extract but a certificate of origin that's the one you normally get when you buy the watch new on certain models 10 to 15 percent more for the certificate of origin <clears throat> as opposed to getting an extract so it's really quite funny what's happening with the market there um I don't mind if a watch doesn't have pay. It's not the end of the world, uh, but it, it's kind of getting more important as time goes on. Not that the papers prove anything, really. People think it prove. It doesn't actually prove. Doesn't prove anything. Uh, I mean, there's fake papers. They can have real papers with fake. What you know, it's a whole host of combo that that can be done there um but it is very interesting there is a premium for newer stock and i i think the reason why that's so prevalent now is that the supply is so hard to get it is so hard to get something from the ad the ad's i just made a video and in that video to get something like a pepsi you've got to spend quarter of a million dollars aussie quarter in australia you have to spend quarter of a million dollars let me tell you I'm, I'm not supposed to reveal this because it is confidential but i've had a, a dealer tell me in private if you want to get a pepsi you got to spend at least two hundred thousand on other stuff to get a panda a panda that's the daytona panda Half a million dollars, half a million dollars, and that's within a 12 month period we're talking. If you want to get one of these submariner dates, submariner dates, or a submariner snow date, 150, you've got to spend 150,000 before you get offered one of these. A Explorer 2. This is actually old information. This is before the new release, which I don't think it's changed. It's about fifty to seventy-five thousand to get an Air King. Air King, you know the Air King, forty mil Air King. You have to spend about forty thousand um, dollars. Explorer One. You're looking at a similar spend as same as as a um, also for a X. Sorry, you're also looking that same sort of spend. The Explorer one's actually gone up because it's the new model. You got to spend about a hundred. This is serious spending. You got to spend a lot of money, and um, I, I'm just releasing these figures now. But it's it's look look, and I'll just deny it. They'll deny it, but that's the sort of spend in Australia you need to make. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing illegal about them having a, a spend. What I think is frustrating is no one knows the figures. And that's what I'm trying to do is air these figures. So it's uh, that's, that, that's how it is in Oz. That is how it is in Australia. So, guys, tell me what you think. Put some comments below. I, I'm so, MJT, I love you. MJT got me this Explorer 2. Absolutely love my Explorer 2. What a cool guy. He got it for me. What a cool guy. So, I got to tell you guys, this is, this is, this is it. This is it. This is it, guys. This is what 
the meaning of life is. I love it, love it to death. It's really cool. Um, so, guys, I got to tell you, look after. Just be appreciative if you've got Rolex. Just be appreciative to have Rolex. So hard to get back. If you sell off Rolex, you may not be able to get back in. Remember that. Guys, I'll see you in the next one. Look down in the description for a couple of ways you can help me because i got to tell you, Google Ads doesn't pay the bills. I will see you in the next one. Hi, guys. Archie Luxury. And who do I recommend in America? In America, who do I recommend for quality pre-owned wristwatches? David SW, David SW, David SW. Go to davidsw.com. He is the best the greatest pre-owned dealer in all of the United States of America. David SW, David SW, David SW. Hey guys, Archie Luxury. Who do I recommend for watches in Brisbane and Sydney? Vintage Watch Co. That's correct. Vintage Watch Co. in Brisbane Arcade in Brisbane and the Strand Arcade in Sydney. Vintage Watch Co, Brisbane and Sydney. Ronnie, I've known him since the late 90s. Ronnie is a top bloke. Luke is a great guy. Vintage Watch Co, that is who I recommend in Australia. Check out Vintage Watch Co and the guys' amazing range of watches. They also do service and repairs. Vintage Watch Co, that is is where the pontiff goes. You know, some of my paddocks came from Vintage Watch Co. That's right, guys. Vintage Watch Co.